Hi everyone and welcome back to Everything That Makes Me Simply Simone. I'm Simone. And I'm Martha, Simone's husband. We have realized that communication is a huge, huge component of any relationship, but especially in a marriage. So we wanted to share a few questions that we typically get around communication and then hear your feedback and what you think. When it comes to settling disagreements, what's a good approach? When it comes to settling disagreements, what I found to be a good approach is clarifying the intention. So for example, a few months ago, Arthur hung up on me. And that's really unlike him. He, uh, Arthur's so sweet, he never ever does that. But I realized that I was, I was kind of pushing buttons and so I knew he was frustrated. So I was frustrated that he hung up on me. I was like, oh no, he did not just hang up on me. So that was my, gonna be my initial approach. Then I said, okay, let me clarify his intention because there's obviously something behind it because that's totally not Arthur's behavior. So I said, okay, I picked up the phone after he hung up on me. And I said, babe, did the call drop? or did you mean <laughs> to hang up on me? Instead of picking up the phone and saying what my normal hmm. saying would have been for him, I just went ahead and clarified what his intention was behind that action because I knew that was abnormal for him and that I had been pushing some of his buttons. So I think that's really important when disagreeing just to allow you know Arthur the space it, to clear it up or me the space to do the same when he and I are talking. For me, I just always kind of make sure that my tone is peaceful you know, and naturally that, uh, you know, I'm making sure that I'm respectful of Simone and then obviously how she feels in a situation and that I also give her the space to speak as well. Based on your communication style, do you think opposites truly attract? Arthur and I are polar opposites. If I go right, he's going left. If I go up, he's going down. Um, if, if he wants to watch basketball, I want to watch Real Housewives. <laughs> so, I mean, we're just totally opposites. But um, I think that we've had to figure out how to communicate with each other based upon being opposite. So I have a different style than him. So if I communicate with him in a way that I want to be communicated, it's not going to work. I always try to inject love in those conversations. And so uh, we actually had a training prior to when we got married and prior to even the marital counseling that was called the Love and Respect Series. If you haven't heard of it, I would strongly recommend that you check it out. We may even do something on that in the future. But a long story short, one of the takeaways from that was that uh, you have love and respect in a relationship. And so when you inject love and you clarify, and you say, hey, if I hear it in your heart, honey, this is how you felt about X situation. And so whether you're using the example of, you know, Real Housewives versus basketball, maybe, hey, honey, I realize that, you know, I've been hogging the TV the last week. You know, if I hear it in your heart, what it sounds like is that you really just want to watch the things that you haven't had the chance to watch because it's been on the back burner because Kevin Durant was on one night, LeBron was on another night, so on and so forth. When you inject that love and just kind of clarify to her point earlier, then it helps and you can figure out what you need to do, which might be to record the game and watch it later, or just go to YouTube and catch the highlights, so. <laughs> What is more important, listening with intention or speaking with intention? So one of the things that came out of us when we were doing marital counseling prior to when we got married is that for me, you can't be closed-minded. I'm a cancer if you believe in uh, horoscopes and all that good stuff. I'm a cancer. When it comes to arguments, I'm not the type to continue to try to you know, voice my point. I'm like, if you get it, great, we can diffuse this. If you don't, I don't really care. I'll just kind of do my own thing and an hour from now it won't even matter to me. And so uh, that was one of the things for me is speaking with intent. So, you know, ever since we've been married, really it's, hey, if this is how I feel, I don't wait five minutes to tell you, like I tell you now. He's so giving and, and Arthur is so selfless that uh, he, he won't, he just will be like, okay, if that's what you want, that's fine. But then I'll realize, you know, if I really take the time to actually listen to him, I'll know that's not what he wants. He's doing it because that's what I want. Um, and that can create issues, that can create resentment, problems down the line. I don't want him hoarding on to things. We don't want to go to bed, you know, angry with each other. We want to lay it out on the table and then, like he said, move on. You know, here it is, this is the problem, drop it. The best way for us to move forward in our communication is for me to listen more and for Arthur to speak up more. So now we, we incorporated that into our everyday lives and it has tremendously helped, so. Those were really great questions, and we look forward to having more. Thank you all for watching. We definitely appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to everything that makes me Simply Simone. We'll see you next time.